What's up, everybody? This is Jay, and welcome to another product review. Of course, me being the sneakerhead, it's another shoe review. Now, these are some of my all-time favorite shoes ever made. Now, we all know about Back to the Future. And when Marty McFly put his foot in the shoe, they automatically laced up and everything, and that was dope. Well, they never made those, and when they finally did, they made such a limited edition in order to raise money for Michael J. Fox and Parkinson's that they sold out instantly. They were already expensive, and now they go on a secondary market. Yeah, fifteen, twenty thousand dollars $20,000 for a pair of shoes. Yeah, I never have those unless, you know, I make it big. Anyway, they have actually made the shoes now, and they're better than those limited editions. They're called the Nike Adapt. Now, they have a Nike Adapt basketball, and they also have a Nike Adapt Air Max. Knowing me, I got to get them both. So, first, we're going to do a Nike Adapt Air Max review. So, I love these shoes. They're the most expensive shoes that I ever bought um, retail. They retail brand new for $400. Yeah, that's a lot for a brand new pair of shoes. Now, I can see if you're buying stuff on the secondary market and they sold out, that's one thing. But these are $400 brand new. But you get a lot for your money as far as technology-wise. So, first off, look at the size of this box. Look at that. That is a humongous box right there, Air Max. You see that? That is the biggest shoe box damn near ever. <laughs> okay, and then when you open them up, as you see, they sit in standing up. They don't lay down. Now, these are the Air Max Nike Adapt. Now, these are dope. They automatically lace up. They have an app, Nike Adapt app. With the app, you can change the, the fitting on the shoe. You can automatically adjust it. You can change the color of the buttons. You can make the buttons change colors if you like. You can tighten them up with the buttons. Or you can have it set so when you put your foot in, it automatically tightens up to where you have it saved i mean it gets no better than these shoes right here the the look the feel even though this is not a leather which is what of course you know i prefer this does look a little futuristic and space age you can't see the technology that brings them together on the nike adapt basketball you can see the the auto uh lace technology but i think that this is a very dope shoe I think uh, Nike really did a great job. And it's crazy that these shoes do not sell out. Um, yeah, they $400. And people would gladly pay that much for some shoes on StockX or Goat or eBay. But they won't buy them brand new. I think these shoes are excellent. Um, I think that the turquoise and then the concrete mixed with the turquoise little spray paint uh, is pretty dope. It's got one of the biggest air bubbles I ever seen on any shoe. The the comfort and cushion is a 10, okay? As soon as you put your foot in, it automatically laces up. Now, Nike was supposed to be bringing out a shoe for people with disabilities where the shoe kind of breaks in half. You can slide your foot in, and when you put your foot down, it goes back in. And, of course, they made a limited edition, and people bought them up real fast. And then people like myself with disabilities uh, was not able to get them. And I'm very disappointed in Nike for that. Um, on the other hand, these shoes... I guess people didn't buy them up because it's not a high profit margin, but they are excellent. It is one pair that uh, people do buy up. It's like the uh, microchip uh, colorway, and those go for eight to nine hundred dollars. And that's the Air Max one. Um, they're brown. Anyway, these are excellent shoes. Another thing about this shoe, the box, this little piece comes out. It's got the Air Max. When you open it up, it's got the little collectible uh, Nike Air Max Android that's in there. And then this box has the cords and technology in it. 
uh, to plug it in. The one thing about this shoe versus the Back to the Future shoe is you actually had to plug in the cord into the Back to the Future shoe, whereas these are actually wireless charging shoes. You just sit them on the wireless charging pad and they do their thing wirelessly. And uh, it comes with the wireless charging pad. It's a big plate, the size enough to put both shoes on it. And when you sit them down, they automatically light up and begin charging. It's dope. You can't beat it. Hey, if you're looking for some shoes that ain't nobody got and they got the best technology of any shoe on the market, you might want to give these a look. Yeah, they're expensive, but you actually get what you pay for. Um, how many people's shoes can you put your foot in and it automatically laces up to whatever comfort specification you put in there? Not many. Matter of fact, none. So with that being said, I love these. These are one of my favorite pair in my collection. And I, I you know, if I had to walk and, and wear them, I don't know if I would. But I do get to enjoy my shoes without getting them dirty because my feet don't touch the ground. So it is some benefits to this. And hey, I enjoy them. Anyway, I'm Jay. I hope you enjoyed this shoe review for the Nike Air Max Adapt. And I'll see you on the next video. Deuces. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please hit that like, subscribe, bang that bell, and I'll catch you on the next.